Hello techies, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we are learning about intelligent invoice processing with chat GPT and automation anywhere A360. And this is one of the real use case of chat GPT in RPA process. You know IDP, right? So IDP is intelligent document processing. This process we can achieve through our chat GPT and automation anywhere A360 very easily. That step by step complete process you will learn today in this particular video. Please don't skip the video till the end. You will get complete process about how we can connect with chat GPT and automation anywhere and how we can achieve IDP process very easily. So before starting our process, I'm requesting you to subscribe my channel because only 34% of the people subscribe my channel 65% still I'm waiting for your comment and your suggestion to improve my YouTube videos. So from your comment and your suggestions, I can improve my videos quality or any specific content. If you need it, please comment on the video. Please subscribe to the my channel that will be motivate for me. So definitely I will uh, give you in the future different different activities about the artificial intelligence and our RPA process. So please subscribe. Please hit the bell, bell icon to get future notification to you. So without wasting the time directly we will go to our uh, today process. So uh, we will follow this workflow to get uh, or achieve the IDP process. So first thing is we have to extract the data from uh, file OCR or PDF activity which is available in A360 that is uh, available in community also we can see that one and after that we have to fine tune our input to get the output from the chat GPT directly if you place your input to chat GPT you will definitely will never get your output back as expected. So we have to fine tune this is the step uh, very important that's why don't skip the video till the end every each and every second is very important to connect with chat GPT and achieve the IDP process very easily. So after fine tuning your input we will directly connect with the chat GPT. So I hope uh, most of the people know how we can connect the chat GPT with the API. But again we will see how uh, we can achieve step by step with the API process and which model that is very important. So so many uh, models we have in the chat GPT which model is very good for IDP process everything we will see uh, in this particular video and after that we have to deserialize uh, our JSON output after that it you will get a uh, output in the CSV everything we will see uh, in this particular uh, video step by step. So without wasting wasting the time directly I will go to automation anyway and the first thing uh, we need for, to achieve our uh, IDP process input right so I will show you the input so I have some input of bank statement so I will open one of the input so 10 statements I have from different different banks see here also I have added different formats you will get here uh, totally a different items in the bank statement but our code will work for all see now I have ACC bank with some bank statement and same way uh, if I select something else See, this is separate format, right? Different format. This is the one format. This is totally a different format. But our IDP process with the chat GPT will work with all the format very easily. So no need to hesitate about the format and no, no need to group diff, uh, or uh, 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 how we will do with the IQ bot, right? No need to do that activities. Very easily we will get uh, whatever we need exactly. So we will see step by step. So this is the input I gonna use in our uh, video. So after that the second thing is our chart GPT API. So how we can achieve or how we can get the chart GPT API. Uh, first you have to go to open AI. I hope everyone know the open AI is a company of chart GPT. So after that directly you can go to So here read about chat GPT. I will I'm just going to that. Okay. Research. Product. 
so in the product also we don't have developers yes so you can go to the developers and directly go to api reference so this is one of the way you can directly connect with a chat gpt api so here you will get completion and chat for intelligent document process chat api is very good so because you will get a desired output no need to do any filtering or manipulation uh, uh, to the your bot directly will get a uh, preferred output uh, whenever you will give the tuned input for the chat gpt that's why i'm using chat api for my process uh, maybe you can use different apis also uh, with, with which is available in your uh, chat gpt but i am using chat api because uh, this is a free version so i can use it but here also we have a limitations uh, we cannot uh, more than 5000 words i cannot sorry 500 words i cannot post it and another one thing is more than 4000 character i cannot post it but yes to learning purpose definitely we can go with a uh, free version of chat gpt of chat api okay so directly we will see how we can do this activity the first thing is you have to create a key okay how we can create go to the personal and go to view api key this is one of the way so just i will delete the old one and after this video i am i will delete this key also because this is one of the secret key so we should not give it to anyone right so i'm just copying before clicking ok and i will have it in the notepad somewhere else okay here i'm having key so this is very important so next let's go to our automation anyway the first thing is we have to get the input right so as i showed in the workflow we have to get the data from the file with using ocr or pdf so now i am using a pdf activities if you are using the image you can use directly ocr if your invoices in the images otherwise you can use a pdf okay so here little bit uh, techniques we have to use so that's why don't skip the video one by one step by step we will see so pdf first thing is extract field just i will give a step okay so here extract data from pdf just i am giving for a uh, convenient purpose and best way to use a step so just drag and drop inside the steps so in the extract field uh, we have to give the path of the desktop so what i will do just i will copy this path and browse paste it so just i will take one of the pdf then we will see how we can do this activity for multiple pdfs okay the first i'm taking a only one pdf activities and after that okay sorry so i'm using a wrong one so pdf in the pdf activity i should not take extract field so i need to take extract text that is very important so extract field if you are giving means you have to give the field and everything i don't want to give it that so what are all the data i have in the pdf everything should be uh, copy and i need to use that copied value so that's why i'm using extract text so after that no i don't have any password and plain text or uh, structure text anything is fine i'm taking plain text because our chat gpt is very intelligent no need to take a structured data and export data to text file right so this is very important again i i will browse the data and i will give like this so i'm just going inside this and i will create one particular folder called temp to store the temporary data this is very much temporary data for me and i will create one uh, file input txt and select that one and have it and overwrite the file because each and every time i'm running it should overwrite with a new data now i will have the data in the text file right so what are all the if i run the board uh, what are all the pdf content i have taken so that content will be available in the text file now how we can 
copy that value or how we can copy that text data from text file to your any variable that is very challenging so if i go and show you here in the temporary now you will see see every data is extracted and but it is not in the standard format yes so we have to make it standard we have to tune the data and we have to upload into chat gpt that is our goal so now directly i will go to my automation anywhere and this is my data so now how we can get the data from the uh, text right so if i go to the text command i don't have any direct uh, read and paste it in the variable uh, of your string or a number so it will directly go to table so i am not taking here uh, this particular command because i don't have any provision to store my text file data into string so it will store in a data table so i don't want to store in a data table so i'm just going with open file right so just i'm taking a open file and here i will give a path okay browse is best way of doing browse and go with path and go to the temp and take it this okay fine so i'm just saving so what i'm doing basically i'm opening the text file after that i'm using key simulate keystroke please step by step follow my instruction so this will be very good and application i'm taking because i need to copy the data from the file right so that's why just i will go with input text notepad and i will add some star here so because if i get any dynamic window name so that's why i'm adding star and here i'm passing first control a control a why because i need to first select all the data and i need to have the data inside the clipboard so i'm just taking clipboard now so here just i'm making c so what i have basically done so first i'm extracting the data and have it in the text file and that text file i'm just opening after that control a i'm doing to uh, do the manually how we will do right so control a like this after that i'm using control c how uh, to copy the data and have it in the clipboard right what is clipboard and everything i have uploaded already in my youtube channel please watch all the videos you will definitely get what is exactly the clipboard so now control a control c is done now my data is available in the clipboard activity right so after that don't forget to close your open file so that is one of the important how we can close it so as i'm not opening through our uh, uh, text command we have to take a window only window close after this and application i'm just selecting my window i'm just going a little bit speed uh, please pause the video and do it in your system okay now extract data from the pdf is totally completed so i will have the data inside my yes clipboard so now what i have to do i need to connect uh, my chat gpt to our uh, automation anywhere a360 for that i will take rest web services okay very simple we don't want to go with any command or something which is available in automation anywhere directly you can connect with rest web services so that's why uh, you will learn about api also and you will get a confidence about the api whenever you will go to interview or real time scenario if you are working okay so directly i will take a post method because here we have a post method i will uh, show you the documentation on chat gpt connect chat gpt okay i'm just giving as connect chat gpt step so just i'm dragging and dropping post activity why i am taking a post activity very simple so just i'm going with a api reference and chart so here in the documentation you will see right you can see here the post activity they are taking to connect with your uh, chat gpt with api right so i'm just taking this particular uri we will call it as url or uri go and paste it here 
so this is uri after that authentication is very very important how we can add the authentication just add it here here you can mention authorization see in the example request it is showing authorization same thing i'm just copying the authorization and i'm pasting here and you can take the insecure string also or you can take your credential vault also basically you have to take the credential vault but for learning purpose i'm just taking insecure string so after the bearer so what i have done so i'm just copying after the authentication what are all the things are there so they have mentioned here open api key that you have to add it right just i'm removing that so if you remember already i have the data inside my uh, notepad right so this key i'm just copying and i'm pasting it here very simple add it so now parameter this is very important and which type of the output you need it basically you can take it xml multiple uh, way you can take it but i am familiar with the json so and very easily we can get the json thread so i will show you how we can get the json thread in the uh, next uh, things okay so please be with me so json i am taking as a output and parameter how we will get to know which parameter we have to use it very simple here it is there right so for the chart we have a parameter this one just i am copying this parameter and here i am pasting very simple and you can see here they have mentioned the content hello right this we can remove hello and what we can add that is very important right so i have a data in what in my clipboard so uh, so if you go back to our slide okay i have uh, we have discussed right the fine tuning is a one of the thing which is very very important to do with a chart gpt fine tuning we will do this activity now so this activity is completed extract the data from ocr or pdf activity is totally completed now we have to do fine tuning with our input data how we can do the fine tuning is very easily uh, if i tell uh, so we have to add a question here see whenever you are do the fine tuning what you need it just add with your input so i'm adding this one i need a data from above content as below as only bank account number bank number bank name and bank address so like this i'm adding a input with my clipboard input how we can add it very simple so i'm just adding here assign string assign i'm taking to concatenate a data and here i will take a clipboard right because i have an input in the clipboard with that i will add my this data i need a data from above content with as a below only okay this is very important i am using below only this is a fine tuning okay so if you give the correct input to the chart, chart gpt you it will you will get back the input as expected so that is one thing so now what i have to do so i need to store this value in okay so str input so standard we are following str input and here in your content in between your double quote okay you have to use a double quote with that insert a value str input insert done so and i have told one thing to you uh so before starting right so we have a limitation in the chat gpt 5000 words or uh, 5000 characters or 500 word is a limitation in the free version of chat gpt so that's why what i will do in clipboard action what are all the slash n will be there slash n means new uh what you call new line right so whatever the new line will be there that i have to remove it for that purpose i will use a replace because we will have so many new lines in the output so we have to remove first a new line so then we will get a tuned version of the input right so that's why i'm just taking here uh, str input okay and i don't want a new line so slash n why i'm taking a slash n because in the regular expression slash n is for new line so i'm just replacing with null so if i replacing with null nothing so what will happen so it will directly remove the new line and you will get a 
compact version or compressed version of your input right basically we are removing the new lines and making our uh, data uh, within 500 words or 4000 characters so for that purpose i am doing this activity and after that just i am keeping inside the input itself otherwise what you will get so you will get a bad request error you can try whenever you you will do right without n slash and also you can try it but you will get a bad request fine so now what next next is so i'm just added a content here input and after that very important thing is i need to get a data right to get a data back in the json we have to add, use a key called body see here it is mentioned body right so i'm just copying that one i'm going to the dictionary i will create a dictionary or you can go with a multiple variable also no issue add variable and key is body and map the variable right so i need to get a data right so str body i'm just taking body as a key from api request and str body save it done so next add a message box drag and drop and use str body to know what is exactly we will get a input so now what are all the things we have done is very simple extract the data from the pdf with pdf action pdf extract text action then we are opening just our output from the pdf in the text format right so that i am taking and control a control c basically i am doing because i don't i'm not find any direct uh, way of extracting the data from our uh, text file to string variable that's why i'm using this so you can find anything else also so i'm just closing that particular file and after that i'm just adding and tuning my data with using of this particular thing right i need a data from above content as below as only you can add any other content also if you need it now i'm taking bank account number basically bank name and bank address very simple so now what next I'm just replacing slash n uh, because I don't need a different new lines whichever come from my data input data that's why so just after that we have connected with a chart GPT chart completion API with authorization and our parameter and we have connected uh, we, uh, we have just made the uh, map the variable with body and str body of json so we will run the bot now so we will see what we will get a output based on that we will tune this right so if you have any question please comment on the video definitely i will help you out with your queries so if you are not subscribed at please subscribe to the channel because your subscription to the channel will not cost you anything but it will be motivation for me to do the next video uh, whatever you request so that's why so it is taking a little bit of time to deploying in your computer we'll see okay it is just deploying and downloading fine now it is reading the file input file and now we are getting a message box okay so i made one mistake i hope because i'm seeing the slash and right so I, as i told so this will be more than 500 words or 4000 characters so that's why uh, i have removed the slash n but still i'm seeing a um, different line so we will see what will happen so just i'm closing this one okay yes as i told definitely i get a 400 bad request why because just i will see in the eighth line yes so i need to use a front slash so this i have made a mistake so now if i run the bot we will see what is the value i will get it from chat gpt and what is the body of the json right everything we will see the first thing is just it is opening the file you can see here and yes now it is working this is the input what we have to give it to chat gpt see now i have a data of clipboard till here 
right this is the data of pdf which is saved in clipboard so after that i have i need a data from above content as below bank account number bank name and bank address right very simple so now if i close it and i have added another message box after chat gpt is connected say this is we will call it as json output and this is the body of your uh, api okay chat gpt chat api so now if you see here you will not get what is exactly this right so just copy this one and close it so we have a very good online editor for json just type it as online uh, json pathfinder or whatever the first one you will get it that you can go just replace with here input see now also i am not getting anything so just click on the beautify so you can observe here carefully so what content we have got right bank account number bank name and bank address everything is correctly we are getting now how to find the path because whenever you want to extract the data from the body of your uh, what you call i'm just disabling this message this is not required right so leave it so in the real time so just I'm disabling this message box and I will show you what exactly we have to do. So this body is a JSON body. How we can deserialize this JSON body and get the desired output, right? That is very important. You can go to JSON and here we have get node value. This is very important command in the JSON, how we can get the data. So just I'm collapsing these two and I'm taking get node value with that step very important add it and here i'm adding json output fine tuning okay whatever you want to give it you can just mention in the step so now get node value is very important uh with before that i need to start a session that is very important okay start session and give the text not go with the file what is the text so what are all the output you will get it from the json that is str body right so that str body is str body is my input for json and session you can take a default no issue and here how we will get a json path very easily we can get it from the online editor no need to worry just go to the online editor where we have placed the input right so this is the json input and if you go and check it in the path section so where you have a data that you have to just search it here here i don't have in the message yes i have in the message and the content right just i'm selecting content now you will get ready-made path for the your project very simple you can just take it as it is how it is available in the your json pathfinder.com uh, but this x is not required from the choice you can take it choice zero message dot content why we have to take this one already i have uploaded a json video please watch the json video uh, I have I will mention in the description of this video also please go to the description and watch the JSON video you will get to know why exactly this path and how it will work everything I have explained already just copy this one and go to your automation anywhere and replace this path very easy right and this one I will save it in the str output because this is my output okay str output save it so now what are all the things we have done very simply extract the data from the pdf and that data i'm just tuning it and i'm giving the input for the chart gpt connecting the chart gpt and getting the data from the chart gpt now we are using json deserializing right so i'm just using the path so once you will use a json don't forget to end the session that is very important start session and end session between that you can use your logic so just i'm using like this okay now what i will do this message box just i'll keep it here and i will mention here str output right str output is the one which will become from 
where so it will be come from your json output of your chat gpt api and now we will see what exactly we will get as a output so then we will see how we can do next activity okay so now it is opening the file of pdf after that it will extract the data and connecting with your chat gpt and now finally we are getting what we required right bank account number bank name and bank address everything i am getting but still it is not completed just copy this one because we need in the flow lastly in the csv right this step is not done yet right so this is done this is done say totally one two three four step is done the final step how we can get the data into csv this is only a important thing right so all the data which is available in the pdf in the structured manner we need to get it in the csv so that's why i'm just going back to my automation anyway so now just i'm taking a step again okay and here i will mention save the input sorry save the output in csv basically we will take a csv because large number of the data we can hold it with comma uh, separated value so that's why i'm taking csv and here first thing is i'm getting a, a output in this format right so bank account number is in this format bank name is this format bank address but i need from this string i need only the bank account number bank name and bank address right to get that so basically we know the output is string so just go with a string and in the string you have a extract text what is extract text again i have already uploaded in youtube channel please watch what is extract text how it will work and come back here if you know extract text well and very good so now i'm giving my str output here okay and i'm taking before and after what is before and what is after very important here if i need bank account number just i will give before bank account number okay say sorry start after the text bank account number or end before bank name so then i will get what is exactly i need bank account number right that i will get in between this i have a bank account number and now what i will do so i'm just coming back sorry coming to here trim extracted text and trim your uh, slash n or something and i'm saving inside str bank account number this is very important you can give the description this is account number from pdf right so create and select done same way i need another two right so just i will copy this one and paste it and here i need to change what so i need now bank name right just i'm taking a bank name here and replace with bank name and here bank address copy this one and paste it here right in between the bank name and bank address and i have a bank name right so str bank name create and select save it done same way the next one i need it paste it and now what i need is so after the bank address what are all we will get it that is bank address right after that i don't have anything so basically i don't have anything so what i will do instead of before and after now i will take before action because start after the text bank address before means start after the text bank address just save here str bank address right and this is bank address you can give the description also create and select now i have all the data which is uh, available inside my uh, str output right specified variable now how we can achieve and how we can uh, save the data into csv you can use the loop that activity you can use it but i will not use a loop today you will learn without using the loop how we can pass the data one by one to csv very simple activity we will call it as log 
So this activity without adding the loop, you will save inside the CSV one by one. Okay, so how just go to the file path and I need a file path, right? So file path will be a your output and uh, just copy this file path. Go to here and browse it. Give it here. And here I need a CSV, right? CSV is exactly same as your text. Just I'm taking one file name. And here I'm just removing this new text because I need alt, uh, just removing. And here I will add it uh, bank state statement output dot CSV. I need it CSV, that's why and enter the text this is very important first i need str str bank account number so after that i need see separated by comma you have to add it after that i need str address and after that i need str uh, which one str bank name Okay, so three values I'm using with comma separated. Basically, CSV is what? Comma separated value, right? So I'm just separating the value by comma while entering the text into log. And append to existing log file, that is good, right? Don't take a add timestamp. I don't need any time. Append existing log. Just save it. And before going to this add if condition why because i need to add a header right for that purpose i'm just using a if condition if file does not exist okay and take this file and come here and paste it here so if the file is does not exist i need to create a file first thing create a file file create and here you can mention your file path or right if it is there if it will not be there okay no issue so i'm just creating the file and another thing is i need to log log so what i have to log just i'm giving a path and here i need to give what exactly the header so first thing is account number next thing is bank address next thing is bank name right same thing i will give it here account number why i will tell you later okay account number bank address and bank so what is next bank name see now just i'm giving bank account number comma bank address and comma bank name okay after that i'm logging so what I will do just I will uh, remove this file. Okay. And this is not completed. Now we have only taken the one PDF. That's why don't skip the video. I will show you how we can do with the multiple files also. Okay. No, no need to waste uh, or no need to run again and again for the different files. In one shot, if you have a hundred file or thousand file, everything it will extract and you will get lastly a output in the CSV file with header, with the data. Everything is uh, complete step by step we have seen and one is uh, pending, don't skip it. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to get future video also, okay? So just I will go to my output. See now I have a bank statement output file. If I open it, now you can see with header a data. Right. So here I have one mistake that uh, it will it will come to next, next, next line. So just I will see what is that because I may have. OK, it's very simple in the address. OK, bank address or bank name, I may have a comma. If I have a comma, then I will not get the result in the same column. Right. So what I will do replace. here and here I will take str account number will not have the comma address may have the comma right so find the string comma 
and replace with space that is very important right so now str bank address i'm taking bank address same way i will do with uh, bank name also replace i'm taking mix again and instead of address i will take bank name and same if i have a comma just i am replacing with blank bank name so now what will happen basically log will take comma as a separated right so i am just removing the comma and replacing with space here so now just i will remove this okay okay this is already open what i have to do first i need to close this and remove in the folder and now you can just run so this is one way of doing or fine tuning your output right so just i'm replacing with comma wherever it is so just replacing with a space now you will get only the specified output with header why i'm getting a header means uh, we have added a if condition right that's why so once you will check the output is available or not if the output file is not available first you will add a header okay create a file add a header then next time onwards it will not take the header right see now beautifully you will get account number bank address and bank name right but still it is not done because my input is not only one right input file is having 10 different files or it might be 100 or it might be 1000 how we can get or how we can achieve this so i have now pdf only right so what I will do, just I will show you that. First, I will remove the output. This is very important. And go to your automation anywhere. Right? So before starting your PDF extraction. So here, right? Before starting this, I will add one loop to get all the data or all the file which is available inside my folder. To get that, take the loop in the iterator, take file, okay, just search as a file for each file in a folder, okay, and give the folder path. Folder path is not output, this is input. Give the folder path like this, right? This is my folder path and create a dictionary variable. Why? Because I will have the data of file name with the extension in the dictionary variable. Just I'm creating a dictionary variable, find in a folder and to get a name of the file, okay? So just what you can do, after the loop, copy every command and drag and drop inside the loop. This is very important. So now, here, what you have to do, very simple, extract text. In the extract text, we have added a bank statement dot PDF, right? Just remove the bank statement, that particular file name, and add an insert value file folder, and in the dictionary, give it as name. Why I have to give a name? Because in the loop only, they have given one note. You can just see here, access the name key to access file name in, and extension key for access the extension. So that's why I'm just using here at the last, okay, uh, maybe here, okay, at the last file in a folder name.pdf. Why we have to use a file in a folder? Why we have to use a name? Everything is already available in my YouTube video. I will mention in the description. Please watch that. Now what I have done, so I'm just using a loop for each file in a folder and I will run the bot now. Now our complete bot is completed. Each and every file, it will first take it as a PDF, then it will convert into text file, then it will copy the data from the text file and it will do the fine tuning, connect with the chart GPT, get the data back as a JSON, deserialize your JSON file and get the data in this format, right? Bank account number, bank name and bank address. So first file is done. Now it is going to the next file. We'll see what will happen. Okay. So again, you will get a message box for the next file. See, this is the next file. Account number, bank name, bank address, right? Same way the next. We'll just wait for 
10 more right i have added 10 unfortunately i have added a message box also 3 is done Four, five. So it will take some time to extract, give back the data, right? So uh, we are, we have to just wait for that. But you will get a desired data. How we have done? Uh, I think uh, very much, uh, very easy. To extract the data from chat GPT based on your process just use the chat GPT and the very important thing in the chat GPT is fine-tuning with your input just use the manually once how it will work with the chat GPT if you are getting the data use as it is how we have done right so now I'm getting only the bank name bank account number and bank address right so you can use a total amount or uh, different different activities right maybe you can use it for your uh, any invoices so now our bot is completed now let's go and check the output go to the output and open the output see so now i have a data of bank account number all 10 files and address of the file and my data and very important thing is all the files are different different format no need to use a document classifier no need to use your iq bot but again this is having the limitation if you have a chart gpt4 you can do much better okay this is chart gpt3 and in that also i have used the chart uh, a particular model called chart so you can go to the api section you can do some r d and maybe you will get better output also i hope this video is given a better understanding of idp how we can use uh, using chat gpt with our automation anyway if you feel this is very good please share with your colleagues your friends whoever may concern right who want to learn chat gpt who want to learn about idp process very easily no need of any python code no need of any uh, packages or nothing right so everything is easily available please do this activity yourself you will get a lot of challenges if you get challenges please comment on the video subscribe to the video and finally please 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 don't forget to subscribe my channel because still 65 percent of the people need to subscribe my channel i'm requesting you if i'm not clear with the concept or if you need any more concept please comment on the video or directly you can reach out to me by any social media whatsapp link i have mentioned linkedin or your telegram everything i have mentioned gmail i have mentioned please contact with me if you need any specific content or specific things but don't forget to subscribe because your subscription is not cost a one rupee also but it will be more and more enthusiastic or uh, to get a motivate uh, for the next video from me okay please subscribe to the video hit the bell icon to get next upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe i'm again and again i'm telling please happy learning have a nice day bye bye